Ladies and gentlemen, the son of our proud parents, former Chief Justice Silario Davini Jr. and Virginia Perez Davini, please help me welcome Honorable Hilario Davini III. Selamat, Senior Superintendent Wallet, for that very kind introduction. Deputy Regional Director for Administration, Senior Superintendent Orlando Guala. Deputy Regional Director for Operations, Senior Superintendent Conrad Papa. Deputy Regional Chief Director and Staff, Senior Superintendent Edward Caranza. The Director and Staff of PRO 7 men and women of uh, PLP Region Office 7, guests, friends, my uh, fellow servants of the people, my Butak Kratutanam. Let me begin by saying that the relationship between the police and the public determines to a significant degree just how effective policing will be in the protection of social order. Much depends on the approval and cooperation of the public, and these have always been determined by the degree of the esteem and respect in which the police are held. Therefore, every member of the police force must remember that it is the duty, it is his duty to protect and help members of the public no less than to bring offenders to justice. Consequently, while prompt to prevent crime and arrest criminals, he must look on himself as the servant and guardian of the general public and treat all law-abiding citizens, irrespective of their social position, with unfailing patience and courtesy. Salamat kayo for inviting me to your kickoff ceremony on this uh, 19th uh, PCR month celebration. I am truly and deeply honored. The efforts to involve the community in policing is an effective complement to the reactive approach to police work 50 or so years ago. It is not enough that the police officer comes in after a crime has been committed. The more effective approach, to my mind, is to anticipate and prevent the crime from being committed. Let me put this into more specifics. Our objective is not to catch the Akyat Bahai, but to prevent breaking and entering. A community's real and active participation result in, one, an informed citizen conscious of the risks and always alert to possible crime behavior. Ugdunay ka dudahan na maghabas-haba sa ilang napit, upribalo sa iyang mga silingan, upribalo sa mga tanod, upribalo sa pulis. Two, an involved community that denies the possible criminal the environment to commit crime. The typical criminal is takulan. Ugiya makitan na well-lighted ang napit, iya makitan na trangkado ang mga putahan o pitana, iya mamakmunan na taot-taot lang na tapsing-tapsing ang patrolya sa tanod o polis, dili na siya murisko, mulakaw, and we look for an easier target. Active community involvement toughens the neighborhood against criminal elements. Three, a concerned and involved community is a rich source of intelligence. Kinsa ni mga kawatan, kinsa ni mga kriminal, kinsa ni namalitay sa kinawat, asaman ipamaligya. Of course, these informations have to be validated, assessed, processed, cross-checked, and acted upon strategically and tactically. But information, nonetheless, prevention, disruption, and enforcement rely much on intelligence. And finally, a well-coordinated community involvement brings in external agencies, entities, and elements into police work. Ako nagtuo ng kining mga barangay councils, the health and education departments, 
community organizations and neighborhood associations have great potential impact on the causes of crime. The police and the justice system may be the gatekeepers, but these external elements are the walls to contain criminality. Let us reach out and use our linkages more effectively. Let us engage them, and together we determine the need, recognize the problem, solicit suggestions, and then let us ask for their action. A community's involvement makes better use of the police's scarce resource. Decisions internal to the police, risk assessment, vulnerability assessment, response and anticipation of consequence become more rational with community involvement. The people, the neighborhood, the communities are our clients. They are the reason why we exist. The favor and approval of the community must be sought at all times, not by pandering to public opinion, but by enforcing the laws with constant and absolute impartiality, giving prompt individual and friendly service to all members of society, regardless of status, social position, being courteous and friendly at all times, and being ready to make personal sacrifices in order to save lives. We welcome next month, beginning tomorrow, July, the Police Community Relations Month as our challenge for a sustainable, effective tool for peace and order. Mabuhi ang PNP Regional Office 7, Mabuhi Kamutanan, Dagat Islamat Umay Bunga.